So let's take our base 5 number and convert it into base 10. We have to remember that because this is base 5, it has a new set of rules. But actually, the rules are the same, but the magic number or the base number is different. So let's double check, make sure we know how to read this. 2, 3, 4, 5, base 5. I cannot read it 2,345. It's not true. That's a base 10 idea. 2, 3, 4, 5, base 5. Now, there is something wrong with this number. Do you see it? What's the highest digit I'm allowed to use in base 5? Well, I'm allowed 5 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 4 is the highest digit. What's wrong with this? What's wrong is there's a 5 in it. This is an illegal number. I can't even have that number. It's imaginary. Well, so let's change it to something else. Let's make that a 1. Okay, so what do we do? Well, here's step 1. Step 1, I need to identify my base 5 place value. So underneath each place value, I'm going to list. This is the 1s, this is the 5s, this is the 25s, this is the 125s. Remember, I multiply by 5 to find my new ones. So you have to think about this. Think about it in terms of money. If I have 6 quarters and 10 dimes and 9 nickels and 3 pennies, well, what do I do? Well, okay, well, I have that many quarters, so that number times 25. It's kind of the same here. What I'm going to do is calculate out each one. And yes, we will show our calculations for our process. I don't care if we can do it in our head. We should be able to. 2 times 125 is 250. So I will write. I'm going to put the place values on top times 2. 25 times 3. 5 times 4. 1 times 1. We'll write 1 times 1 even though it's real simple. The reason I put place values on top is that way I can double check, because oftentimes kids will miss a place value. So I can check 125, 25, 5, and 1, yes. Multiply 250, 75, 20, and 1. All I have to do now is join them all up. On 250 plus 75 plus 20 plus 1 equals 346. Did I read this correctly? 346. Yes, I did, because this is a base 10 number. Remember, we were going from base 5 into base 10. Notice I don't even have to write the little base 10 here. This is our number system. So when there's nothing, we just assume this is 346. How much is 2341 base 5 into base 10? 346. How do I do it? Fill in my place values underneath. Again, it's base 5 place values because there's a 5 here. So I must make sure that the place values match up what the base is. Once I have that, I take the digit on top times the place value, digit times place value, add them all up, and I get 346. That's it.